my little dumbbell. Have a great day at the plaza. Ah, thanks, mommy. Mommy? Decoded my first two lines. And now for the final one the tally of type on trees. The tally of type on trees.
to my final line and know your future! Alrighty, the tally of type on trees is... That is... Correct! Yay, me! And now you may know your future! Here we go! You will become a great warrior! I will? You will reach hero level one! I will? And your mommy will love you forever! She will? That's the best news of all! You did it, sweetie! Mommy, mommy! I'm going to be a great level one warrior someday, and you're going to love me like forever! You bet I will! I gotta call my mom. Right back at you, my buddy old pal. What you doing, buddy? Just palling around? Yep, just palling around, my buddy. All right, get serious now. While you've been leveling up as my friend, I've been taking stock of all of my BFFs and besties and brohines. Just seeing where you can slot me in? No, I don't have any BFFs or besties or even a single broheim. I need you to finish the last radical feat. I need a BFF pronto, buddy old pal. And so it will be done, Rad. You can count on me to become your BF for F and E until the end of T. Thanks, KO. You're a real buddy old pal. This last feat of radicalness is going to get Lord Boxman so steamed, I'll give it to you plain. So Rad thinks he can make a fool out of me by sicking his little puppy dog on Boxmore again? <laughs> Not this time. This time, I show him who's boss. The boss is under attack. Okay. <gasps> Borp, applause alert. I was going to say, dare Boxman to send over one of their giant bosses and then fight it. But I guess it'll have to wait until after this piddly little normal Boxmore attack. You take on the plaza alert while I dig up my old megaphone, and then after, you can taunt B more until they boss up. The power of friendship compels me. You can do this, Kate.
I found my megaphone and thought of some sick Be More Burns for you to say. Brad, that was no regular old plaza alert. Boxmore sent a boss, and I beat it up. They did? You did? That means you're tough enough to be my BFF. Yeppers, and it feels so good. I mean, all this time I thought we were already good friends. But while I was clobbering that boss, I felt so tough and cool, and I got it! Like, of course, I can't be BFFs with the Radicles unless I've got some boss bashings under my belt. Oh, K.O., I... I'm sorry. You're sorry? I'm just glad you didn't get hurt in all those battles because of my stupid ego. But I had fun! Your Radical feats showed me all the cool stuff I'm capable of. I leveled up my stats! We're BFFs now. You were always cool enough to be my friend. You already were my friend, K.O. But in my never-ending quest to be the most bodacious alien in the plaza, I let myself become a bodacious-sized jerk and made one of the good guys think he wasn't good enough. I don't deserve to be your BFF. I'm not a brand, I'm a butthead. Don't say that. I wouldn't be friends with a butthead. Well, unless they were nice and couldn't help it that their head was a butt. But your real problem is not a butt for a head, Rad. It's that you forget all the time. Forget what? That you're already the most bodacious alien at the plaza. Sure, we've got attacking robots and a broccoli guy, dinosaurs and a Shaolin monk, a viking and a magical skeleton, and a bad robot turned good guy hairstylist. But we've only got one alien with blue skin, pecs for days, powers of levitation, and the coolest van in the lot. And I'm proud to call him my BFF. You're right. I do have pecs for days. Ah, KO. Thanks for getting into a series of treacherous battles and pulling off sick fight moves under dubious pretenses. Just to show me what I should have known all along. W-A-B-F-F-F. Huh? What are best friends forever for? Alrighty. K.O. Boom. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jeez. K.O. Uh. 
I'm impressed, KO.
the plaza! Yeah. <laughs> 